What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 18.3.2 to the general public. This is an official release, this is not a beta. So this comes just one day after the latest iOS 18.4 beta. Now along with this iOS 18.3.2 update, Apple also released iPadOS 18.3.2, macOS Sequoia 15.3.2, tvOS 18.3.1, and visionOS 2.3.2 for the Vision Pro. But of course in this video we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS 18.3.2. So you can see here, the size of this update came in at around 700 megabytes on my iPhone 16, which was coming from iOS 18.3.1. And then as far as the build number for this new update, if we head into our settings and go to general about 18.3.2, we can see that the new build number is 22D82. And then if we go back and go down to the modem firmware, that is 1.40.03 for the iPhone 16 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 18.3.2? And as you guys know, if you are consistent viewers of the channel, a double point update, so a 0.3.2 update, those are always going to be bug fix and security patch updates. So just going into this update, just know, just keep it in your head that you're not gonna see any type of new features or changes. Those are typically only in the single point updates like iOS 18.3 or iOS 18.4. So 18.3.2, is simply a bug fix and security patch update, which it actually tells you, Apple tells you that right here. So it says that it provides important bug fixes, security updates, and addresses an issue that may prevent playback of some streaming content. So Apple actually mentions the main bug fix here. So if you had any issues with playback in YouTube or Netflix or applications like that, you might see that fixed here with 18.3.2. I did not see anything widespread as far as issues with playback, but if you did have that issue either in the Safari video player or in third-party applications, that should be fixed after updating to 18.3.2. But the main reason you'll probably want to update to iOS 18.3.2 is because of the security patch in this update. So if you take a look at Apple's security notes page, there's only one bug that has been fixed with iOS 18.3.2. And this is the same for the latest macOS release, the latest iPadOS release and others as well. So it's this WebKit bug right here. And you can see that the impact of this vulnerability is maliciously crafted web content may be able to break out of web content sandbox. This is a supplementary fix for an attack that was blocked on iOS 17.2. And it does say that Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific targeted individuals on versions of iOS before iOS 17.2. And then the description of the fix is an out of bounds right issue was addressed with improved checks to prevent unauthorized actions. And you'll see that the CVE was actually Apple themselves. And that's likely because once again, this is a supplementary fix for an attack that was blocked or that was patched by an iOS 17 update last year, iOS 17.2. So the likelihood of this bug actually impacting you is very small. It's obviously not gonna happen to the majority of people because again, this was targeting extremely specific individuals. So most likely it's going to be government and people with you know something to lose on their device. So most users are gonna be safe from this, but it is still good to know that this has been patched with iOS 18.3.2, and it's always good reason to go ahead and update, especially if you're on iOS 18.3.1 already, because really nothing else is gonna change here. And then for those of you who do not like Apple intelligence, you might wanna go into your settings after updating to iOS 18.3.2, because if you go into your Apple intelligence and Siri settings, you will notice that Apple intelligence might be turned on automatically, even if you had it disabled before. So that's something that's been happening for the past few updates, so that is worth checking out if you're somebody who did disable Apple intelligence, it will possibly be re-enabled by default after you update to 18.3.2. But of course you can just go ahead and turn it off again if you do not like it. Also, I do have to mention it. If you're still having the bug with these stickers, that does appear to be fixed here with 18.3.2. However, that was fixed for me on a previous version. So if you're still seeing issues with your stickers not showing up, or you know sometimes you can't delete them, a lot of those bugs have been fixed for me. But if you're still facing those on iOS 18.3.2, you might want to go ahead and try deleting your stickers and re-adding them. That fixed it for me on a previous version. But I would not expect 18.3.2 to fix it. If anything, 18.4 might fix that bug if that is something that you are currently facing. But as far as anything else in iOS 18.3.2, I would not really expect anything else to be addressed or fixed with this update. So again, typically these double point updates are strictly for those bug fixes and security enhancements 
that are mentioned. It rarely fixes things that were not mentioned in the release notes. It's possible, but a lot of times the more large bugs that people have been facing for a while are not going to be fixed with this double point updates unless it was mentioned in the release notes. If you had issues with the keyboard, if you had issues with notifications, you know, lagging, those are most likely not going to be fixed with this update. They might be fixed with iOS 18.4, which is coming up soon. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Now, as far as the performance goes on iOS 18.3.2, I did actually run a Geekbench test and we scored a pretty solid score here. So a 3426 on the single core, 8487 on the multi core. If you take a look back at my history here, don't have a ton to go off of, but it is the highest score for both single core and for multi core. So that is a good sign. And, you know, obviously the performance is not going to be a big you know, jump from iOS 18.3, but it could be a little bit better than 18.3 and 18.3.1, especially just for the bug fixes. But as far as raw performance, it might be a little bit better, but it's not going to be a huge difference. Although I did score a pretty solid score here on the Geekbench test. Now, as far as battery life goes, again, battery life is one of those things that doesn't really change much with these double point updates. So I would expect the battery life to be about the same as it was on iOS 18.3 or 18.3.1, depending on the version that you are coming from if you're coming from a version before that you might see a decent battery boost on 18.3.2 if you're coming from like 18 point you know one or 18.2 something like that so otherwise though if you're just on 18.3 or 18.3.1 you most likely will see about the same battery life so with that being said should you update to ios 18.3.1 and once again if you're on 18.3 or 18.3.1 i do think it's worth going ahead and updating to ios 18.3.2 because it's most most likely not going to break anything or really change much. It's just going to get you those additional bug fixes and security patches to keep your device as secure as possible. Now, if you're on an older version and you're super satisfied with it, you know, you're not really going to gain much by updating to 18.3 or 18.3.2. So you may as well stay on there until something like 18.4 comes out, which has bigger features than what we saw in 18.3. But for most people, I would say it is worth going ahead and updating to 18.3.2. Of course, unless you're on the iOS 18.4 betas, because you're on a version higher than 18.3.2 so you will not even see this update but the changes will be implemented in ios 18.4 as well and then finally let's talk about what to expect next from apple so next up is most likely going to be ios 18.4 and we will be seeing that at some point in early april so we could be seeing that as early as honestly, any time in April, even the first week of April is a possibility. But if it's going to come on a Monday, it will most likely be on April 7th. So we should see it within the first two weeks of April. That's going to be the next public release for iOS. And then after that, you know, of course, going on down here into June at WWDC, that's when we will see iOS 19 get unveiled and see the first beta for that. That's expected to be a pretty massive update. So that's pretty much it with iOS 18.3.2. Not a lot going on here, which is typical for a double point update. But nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy this short video talking about iOS 18.3.2. If you found any additional changes or you notice anything that's different on your device after being on a previous version, let me know down in a comment below. But anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS update videos just like this one. But anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.